the fireworks in the Rajya Sabha, ladies and gentlemen. But shifting focus, an investigation by the New York Times, ladies and gentlemen, has revealed that media portal News Click has links to the Chinese government. Now, according to the US-based newspaper, millionaire named Neville Roy Singham is funding several news publications across the world, including India, to peddle Chinese propaganda. The report revealed ties of the American businessman with the Chinese government and his financial support to NewsClick. Meanwhile, Union Minister Anurag Thakur slammed NewsClick and called it a dangerous tool of the Communist Party of China. He further launched a scathing attack on the Congress for rushing to the defense of NewsClick when the BJP had clearly revealed its pro-China tilt. He said that it is natural for the Congress Party to defend NewsClick because national interests never matter to the Congress leadership. अगर मैं कहूं तो कांग्रेस चीन न्यूज क्लिक सभी एक भारत विरोधी गर्भनाल से जुड़े हुए हैं कांग्रेस चाइना न्यूज क्लिक अ पार्ट ऑफ अम्बलिकल कॉड और ये इससे सिद्ध होता है क्योंकि कुछ लोगों को तो ये भी आदत थी कि और मैं नाम लेके भी कह सकता हूं कि राहुल जी की नकली मोहब्बत की दुकान में चीनी सामान के साफ नजर आने लगा है चीन के प्रति प्यार यह दिखता था और भारत के खिलाफ दुष्प्रचार यह विदेशी जमीन पर भी और विदेशी न्यूज एजेंसियों के माध्यम से भी प्रोपोगंडा के तहत होता था एक एजेंडा था एंटी इंडिया ब्रेक इंडिया कैंपेन leader who is consistent with this narrative these narratives that are put out by platforms like news click and other platforms that are operating in concert are echoed almost blandly in a similar fashion by this political leader rahul gandhi who goes abroad and says exactly the same things democracy is under danger the judiciary is compri- compromised the evms are compromised which is exactly the narrative that these platforms put out right so let's get you an overview about how news click laundered the money this is the investigation of the new york times ladies and gentlemen which has sparked a political war between the bjp and the congress if we just look at what the new york times has found so far April 2018 the defunct company was part of the Singham network the entire Singham network invested 9.59 crore into NewsClick at an artificially jacked up premium of 11510 rupees per share this is what the new york times has found now what they have also found is that 27.51 crore it went from justice and education fund usa all the way to news click this is the money that was funneled into news click with singham at the helm of affairs also if we look at it uh, 26.98 lakh it went from g span llc usa which is also within the singham network all the way to news click so that's what we are getting from the new york times report also what we are learning is that more funds were pumped into news click 49.31 lakh went from the tri continental uh, limited incorporated in the usa another company under uh, singham's network all the way to news click so you can see how all this money is being poured into news click also 2.03 lakh from centro popular demidas in brazil so you can see how it goes beyond the united states all the way to news click also what we are learning is that 20.53 lakh went from news click to the bhima kore gaon accused that is the link that is being uh, that is emerged from this entire investigation of the new york times where the bhima kore gaon accused were also funded by the singham network now the bhima kore gaon accused were appointed as news clicks independent partner so you can see the links when it comes to these anti national activities that has been alleged by the center saying that the congress is also involved in that now large sums of money were paid to journalists on company payroll and the uh, the reports that these journalists took out the bjp says were aimed at targeting india's constitution aimed at targeting india's india's sovereignty and that is what the new york times has found that there is a massive chinese nexus in funding these 
these kind of journalistic projects to take on India's sovereignty. And it all is part of the Singham Network with the involvement of the Chinese government. I'm joined by my colleague Arun Dhanta on the broadcast. Arun, so when it comes to these startling charges coming in from the New York Times, the BJP has enough ammunition to reign on the Congress party. It has done so in the past when it says that the Congress party is hand in glove with the Chinese regime. Well, see, Aishman, the foundation of uh, the BJ BJP's uh, charges is the newspaper New York Times. And what BJP says is that this is the same newspaper which uh, Congress Party and other opposition parties have been praising all the time. Uh, and then therefore, when this report comes out in New York Times, it is something which is very scathing. And therefore, we had seen uh, BJP deploying their uh, top two ministers to actually come out with this story and also talk about the entire narrative which is being pushed in the country. We had seen uh, Union Minister Anurag Thakur and, uh, and uh, his colleague uh, Rajiv Chandrasekhar who addressed that press conference and in fact, uh, uh, you, know, uh, you know, narrated the entire story about uh, the, the news clique and how in fact uh, enforcement directorate has been investigating or interrogating uh, these people related to this firm. And in fact, uh, a minister goes on to say that this is something which is not a new revelation. It has been uh, already uh, found in the investigation of Enforcement Directorate when they raided the office of uh, uh, news clicks in which it was found that there is uh, a huge amount of uh, money which was pumped in from outside and in fact uh, uh, this, uh, this gentleman's name Neville uh, Roy uh, Singham was the one who was working on the behest of China and therefore he was the one who was funding news clicks and in fact uh, the minister has also mentioned here that there are certain senior journalists who have been on the payroll of uh, uh, this this guy and in fact uh, subsequently on, on China and there was a specific instructions which were given to them that how uh, they have to take on to this, this narrative, how they need to actually proceed with the narrative of China and therefore uh, the the logic which they give is that the entire motive behind this was to tarnish the image of the country, tarnish the image of the Prime Minister and also the growth which uh, India is seeing, the kind of reputation which India is growing internationally, it is just to bring all of them down. That is something which uh, ministers were whom we heard uh, uh, you know, a few, few, few hours back uh, talking about, in fact asking questions about the opposition parties, clearing in asking them to clear their stand, whether they are with the Congress party whose leader Rahul Gandhi and Sonia Gandhi, which they say had gone to China during the Olympics time. There were uh, some agreement which was signed there seeking answers not only from the Congress party but also from the opposition parties that, uh, w that how they can uh, stick with Congress party who have this larger narrative to actually take down the country with China. Right, but Arun, at the same time, and we're running this, uh, this, this information for our viewers as well, we can see a lot of money being funneled by what it seems to be shell companies under the Singham network. Uh, can you decode for us the action that has been taken so far when it comes to the crackdown from the agencies over this entire nexus that has come to light via this New York Times report? Well, as far as, uh, you know, the investigation is concerned, we are given to understand that uh, uh, the inquiry is already on. In fact, uh, in, in two, two